Good morning. Paraplegics have very weird dreams. I have very weird dreams. And having these weird dreams has gotten me curious about what disabilities have when it comes to dreams. Everybody has dreams. Whether you're, you have a disability or you are an able-bodied person and it's just think if you sleep, you dream whether you remember it or not. And so I was curious about which disabilities have different kinds of dreams. And it turns out that the blind, if they were injured later in life and weren't born with blindness, then they actually sometimes still see colors. And I also looked up the deaf and to see if what they dream of, and it turns out that their sensory, sensory might be a little bit more overloaded and they still dream, but it's more about the colors that they see and basically everything without the sound. And for the blind, if they are born that way, then the, they basically go by sound and touch. They just might not be able to see things. So it's like a sensory enhancement in a way, I would say. And so for me specifically, what I dream about is three different types, I would say. I have my able body dreams where I can completely walk still, completely fine, nothing happened. And then I have other dreams where I am completely wheelchair bound. So it's the middle one that I have a problem with, number three. I have a dream where I will be walking part way through and then suddenly I'll be in my wheelchair. Or it'll be like I am in my wheelchair and suddenly I can walk again or I can partially walk, like you know there's something wrong with you and you can feel it, but the picture that is going in my dream is not matching what medically should be happening. And those dreams specifically are very, very disorienting because of the fact that I, when you wake up in that kind of dream, happens you kind of think oh I'm okay I can walk and I think it's the brain's way of adapting to a trauma most likely your body is trying to figure out what is still there and what isn't and for me even though I am perfectly okay with where I am and who I am as a person it still is I guess in the back of my mind there is that small tiny glimpse of hey there are scientific breakthroughs you never know when there will be a cure for paralysis and I say that in all not all my videos but in some of my past videos I have said I am going to live my life I am going to keep going there is no reason to stop but hey if there is a scientific breakthrough for spinal cord injuries then that is a plus maybe there will be a way for my life to be just a little tiny bit easier for me to adapt because as much as I do say hey adapting is perfectly nice and adapting is perfectly well there are some things that I would love to have just a little bit easier that being said when having that middle ground dream of going from a wheelchair to walking to a walking to a wheelchair because obviously my muscles are atrophied and therefore like I would not be walking immediately unless you're just recently injured it takes quite a bit to you know get your muscles to work again I believe and so it takes me a good minute for my body and my mind to catch up to each other and so I will literally think I am completely okay just for a second unless I have a very good night's sleep if I have a very good night's sleep then I am adapted enough to understand what happened in a way the able body dreams are actually the worst because it kind of shows well okay it doesn't show because obviously dreams don't show anything they're just the way your brain is relaxing and I will what here's the definition of a dream and what they do for me specifically it's like oh hey what if something different in my life had happened and it had made me go down this different path and in that different path what if I had kept walking and so like and so when those dreams happen it actually is the most disorienting 
And the reason that is disorienting is because you never know what happens in life. You have these different things that come up and everybody goes through something and, but I think it's human nature to wonder the what ifs and I don't want to ignore the what ifs in the sense that as long as I'm mentally fit and not focusing on the what ifs and being upset about it, it's kind of interesting to reflect on what could be. That being said, let me know down in the comments below what weird dreams you have. Whether you have a disability, whether you are an able-bodied person, whether you just like to dream about fish and cats and dogs and cats flying through the air. I totally just almost fell because of that. Uh, I really hope you have a great day and if you enjoy this video, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. Bye!